Today, CHS would like to honor Bryce Frank Hill Jr. Bryce fought with the 6th Marine Division during World War II. These men fought valiantly during the Battle of Okinawa. Later, Bryce would move on to even bigger and better things, mainly becoming the father of Mrs. Ziegler. Would you please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank Good you. morning, Chastening High School, and welcome to your student announcements for Wednesday, September 17th, 2014, and happy Chicken Nugget Day! And I am Swartz, and happy birthday to... Happy birthday Happy Constitution Day! On Constitution Day and Citizenship Day, an event which falls during Constitution Week, many people in the United States recognize the anniversary of the nation's Constitution and the efforts and responsibilities of all the citizens. With regard to the nation's constitution, in the summer of 1787, delegates convened in Philadelphia to create a more perfect union and to craft the country's constitution. They worked to develop a framework that would provide a balance in freedom, taking into account federal and state interests, as well as individual human rights. The delegates signed the Constitution of the United States on September 17th that year. By June 21st, 1788, the Constitution was effective. Having been approved by nine of the 13 states in December of 2004, a federal law was enacted that designated September 17 as Constitution Day and Citizenship Day. In honor of Constitution Day, Mrs. Vinky will ask four trivia questions throughout the day. Prizes will be awarded to the winning class that reports first with the correct answer. The following military recruiters will be visiting on the dates noted. All visits are during lunches. National Guard will be here today, Navy on September 25th, and Marines on October 7th. Juniors, there's going to be a brief meeting today after school to discuss some float building. You are still in need of a location to build and a trailer, so please stop by Ms. Sigrin's room after school and help plan your float. And freshmen, your homecoming t-shirt order forms are being handed out in Miss Mikey's class today. If you do not have her as a teacher, see either Miss Danick in room 112 or Mrs. Mikey for your t-shirt order forms. Money for your t-shirts is due on Friday. Sophomore homecoming shirt orders can be given to Mrs. Paliga and are due Friday, September 19th. Extra forms can be found in math class or the main office. Sophomore float building will start Tuesday from 6 to 8 at Bryce Vila's house. Schedules can be found in math class. Mmm, math. math class. It's delicious. Sad club, which sounds sad, but it's not. We'll be having a welcome meeting on September 24th after school in Mrs. Palega's room. Anybody interested is welcome to stop by and check it out. Hey, seniors, float building will be starting this week. Caitlin Cross is going to be hosting it at her house and her address is 18855 Fowler Road in Oakley. Float building will be taking place every Tuesday and Wednesday from 4 to 6 and Saturdays and Sundays from 2 to 5. So come on and have fun and make the senior float the best it can be. We need a lot of help so please put that on your calendar seniors. And t-shirt order forms are available in the office. Please stop by and grab one and have your order form and money to Mrs. Meyer in the office by Monday. September 22nd, please support your senior class and wear them on Wednesday of homecoming week. Thank you, Mrs. Nudomsky. Attention all students. The Media Center is open at lunchtime only for those students wishing to work on homework. 
check out books and pay library fines, or briefly check their grades. Please stay in the lunchroom to play cards or hang out with your friends. Please do not enter the media center on days when there is a closed sign on the door, so you do not disturb the class in session. Media center after school hours are as follows. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays until 3 o'clock, and Tuesdays and Thursdays until 3.45. These times will be posted outside the media center door as well. The first FFA meeting will be on Wednesday, September 17th at 7 p.m. Many, many <clears throat> committees will be created to start planning the fall activities, and an ice cream social is going to follow the meeting, so go get some ice cream, plan some committees, FFA. Fall and ice cream. Perfect combo, Kendra. The following colleges have scheduled visits. If you are a junior or a senior and would like to meet with them, sign up outside Mrs. Mark's door. U of M and Arbor on September 22nd at 8.15. SVSU on September 24th at 1 o'clock. Kettering on September 29th at 8.30. WMU on October 7th at 1 o'clock. The Art Institutes on October 9th at 9.45. Delta on October 16th at 1 o'clock. GVSU on October 20th at 10 o'clock. CMU on October 28th at 11.30. Albion on October 29th at 8.30. U of M Flint on November 4th at 10 o'clock. And FSU on November 10th at 8.30. Seniors, you are allowed two college visit days during the school year and they will not be counted against you as absences. Please see Mrs. Mark well before you are scheduled to go so you are sure to follow the proper procedure and not get the absence counted against you. Juniors, you are allowed one college visit day during your junior year. Again, please see Mrs. Mark for the proper paperwork before you are scheduled to go. The next time to take the ACT is Saturday, October 25th. The deadline to register for this testing session is Friday, September 19th. See Mrs. Mark for registration information if you are interested in testing or retesting at this time. The middle school is looking for volunteering high school students to help tutor middle schoolers. Any student interested can contact Mr. Cerlino at the middle school. They're looking forward to any helpful students who would be willing to come across the street and help some middle schoolers out. Be a lifesaver. Donate blood for the CHS Blood Drive on Tuesday, October 14th and Wednesday, October 15th during the regular school day. If you are 16 years or older and weigh at least 110 pounds, please see any National Honor Society member to fill out a recruitment card or sign up on the sheet outside of Mrs. Pierce's door on room 403. Take a little of your time and give someone the gift of life. You got any Hartley information for us, Kendra? I do. Any junior or senior who is interested in being a Hartley counselor this year for our fifth graders, please pick up a form in the principal's office. Make sure you put down any sports or other conflicts that you may have so that they can work around it. The deadline for turning in the forms is September 29th. I'm signing up. I already did. Oh. Woo. Do you like to read, Kendra? I do. And if so, Chesnang High School has the club for you. It's called Cena. What does that mean? I'll tell you what it means. Cena, C-E-N-A, stands for Chesnang Elite Nerd Association. Hmm. Perfect name. That book club it will be hosting its first meeting of the year on Tuesday, September 23rd, after school in the Media Center. The first meeting will be very, very short, so please join in and see what it's all about. All right. Guys, it's chicken nugget day. So today's lunch menu will be chicken nuggets, roll, mashed potatoes and gravy, corn, coleslaw, and cantaloupe. Mm. You guys have an amazing camel day. Celebrate chicken nugget day with a camel. Yeah. Okay, See ya.